Hello, let's talk about Astra, a 2021 debut novel by Cedar Bowers up for the Giller Prize here in Canada, which is fairly the big, one of the big literary prizes up, up in the Great White North here. So Astra consists of 10 chapters in the epilogue where 10 characters um, all give you their kind of little slice of Astra, this young girl, well, this girl born in a commune in the interior of British Columbia and kind of travels with through about six decades of her life where you get to see her through different different viewpoint characters in each each one of the chapter, starting off with uh, Raymond, her father, who uh, has a 10 sided dice, which he's he uses to make rather large life changing decisions. Well, decisions that he doesn't make, he just allows the dice to make them, whether out of kind of complete indifference or insecurity. It's kind of up to the reader to, to, to decide. He and uh, a woman are the the founders of and the supposedly the people that are trying to kind of make this this kind of this commute this commune work. Um, so and at the very first chapter, Raymond it has to be convinced to uh, actually participate in the birth of Astra. So it's only at the very end that Astra actually, uh, end of that chapter, that Astra actually comes into the scene by it, but, but which at which point you've, you've got a pretty good idea of, of maybe how things are going to go going forward, at least for her childhood. So yeah, so we, then we get chapter two, we get uh, uh, a, a, young, a young girl neighbor, we get in chapter three is Claudia, one of the other uh, women women of the commune, coming back to the commune with with her children. Chapter four, we get Brendan, who is the manager of a men's clothing store, men's clothing store, and his his interactions with with Astra. Chapter five is Sativa, one of uh, Clodagh's one of Clodagh's children, and her observations on how Astra is doing now out out in the out in the world chapter six doris the other co-founder co of the commune uh very well off and 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 uh, astra coming coming to live with her chapter seven lauren is kind of a much more of an outsider point of view with uh this woman who is not very trustful of her husband and astra kind of enters their life as sort of a nanny or something like that uh chapter eight nick um is a husband chapter nine dom is freedom which is one of the other children of cloda cloda from the beginning and chapter 10 is hugo astra's astra's son and then the epilogue is with astra so each one of these chapters you get you get to see uh, astra at a different time of her life from a different viewpoint and the great thing about uh the majority of the majority of these viewpoint characters is is that their chapter in itself is a full is a full arc is a full story of some sort of of the of the title character they go through something and astra happens to be in it and uh, it's great because at the beginning of each chapter, you sort of have an idea of what you think of uh, of, Ray of Raymond or Kimmy or Sativa or Doris or Lauren or Nick. You have an idea, but that can radically have changed by the end. And they have a certain view of Astra. And as your view of them changes, your your assessment of how much you can trust them or what the, what you think they might be overlaying on top of Astra changes at the same time. And, um, just, it's just, it, it really, it's like from the, from the beginning of the chapter two, where Astra is actually, you know, is an upright, actual sentient human being. You, you get the sense of the kind of a wild child kind of, kind of uncanny or kind of like, whoa, is how, what kind of like what kind of piece of work is she and that goes through so many different changes is she a, is she um a femme fatale is she uh a victim is she uh you know is she a sociopath is she uh someone who's just racked with her own insecurities is she you know it's like you go through all these different kind of um 
thoughts of like what is who is Astra, and even when you get to the final final epilogue where you, I don't know if it's I don't think it's a spoiler that you get Astra's viewpoint itself. That doesn't just that's not the author saying oh and this is Astra. It's like no, you've been educated through all the other chapters of people have a certain view of themselves, which um, depending on what their capabilities are is maybe not accurate at all so it's not the defining that's not a, like a defining chapter where it shuts down all, all conversation um so yeah it is it's it's a really wonderful way of getting deep deep into one character but also having all these these 10 other characters in all their stories uh, i think maybe um chapter five sativa where it's a uh sativa is still a relatively young person observing Astra that that felt like it was a, it was a lot more about Astra and and there was less actual stuff going on for Sativa in in that chapter even though you kind of learn other things of how she her life has been going on later that like think oh okay she's she's made some decisions too but that felt maybe the mo most filler but you get some chapters like I had chapter four Brendan was a really great chapter because you go through a whole thing, various things of being, of, of being wary about him at the beginning and then thinking, Oh, he's not such a bad guy to then, Oh, you learn what you learn later on, totally swinging that stuff around. It's like the, I felt like I really went on a journey with, with uh, that character. And there's great care. There's great stuff of just between the various characters uh, for between uh, freedom, Dom and Hugo is, is just a wonderful chapter. And uh, maybe also just generationally of like, you know, where free, where Dom is at that point, he's more closer to my age and I'm looking at Hugo and thinking he's such a little shit. But by the end of the chapter, um, you you it's, it's it, you 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 get you get really enmeshed in all these characters. This is not just the asterisk show. This is the whole kind of complete complete web. Astra meaning star, but these are all she's she's maybe the star, but there's many other stars in this constellation being put around there. Actually, constellation also being the name of the commune. So yeah yeah um, it's probably. I mean, I think maybe if you're somebody who's super into, you want a plot, this is maybe, this is definitely a character lover's story where you're getting 10 really well, really well drawn characters. And then the, the 11th character being Astra all kind of meshing together. It's like, it's, it's, it's character, character loving heaven. Uh, maybe it's not so much a plot story as it's like, oh, you're investigating each one of these people. So that's probably the kind of reader who is going to really glom onto this. And I think that's probably why I really glommed onto it and really loved it uh, so much. So yeah, that is Astra by uh, Cedar Bowers. More videos later.